Hi guys, welcome to the second part of series on the, the wheels, getting them on the Z3. If you found this video first, then please um, go to this video just here. I'll put a link up to it. And that's the first of this two part uh, video series. So watch that one first, then come back to this one. If you've already seen the last one, then thank you very much for tuning into this one. And I hope you'll enjoy the rest of the process. Right, so now I've got my rear wheels built up. They need tyres. Now I don't have tyres already, the tyres I've got and I'm keeping are going to go on the front wheels. So I need to get some new ones. Now there's no specific size tyre for these wheels that's been made, because they're completely custom. Um, I have measured them, so they are sort of 11 and a half inches wide, and they are obviously 17 inches large. So what you can do is you can come onto this website here, tirestretch.com. So we can go on the, um, the width, we can go on to 11 and a half down there. I've already got 17 in that box and I'll just press search. And this will give me photographs and all of the possible tires that are available for this vehicle. So you can see here, we only have, we've got multiple pictures, but these are the same tire. So the only sizes I can get is 11 and a half. We've got two 275 40s. We've got two 4535s and these are all the same. And we've got two four five forties. That's back down to thirty fives. Now you just basically click on it, look at the image, see how it fits. This is a pretty good tire, but to be honest, I think the tire was a bit too big, and there's not enough stretch on there for me. I think I'm gonna have to have more tuck for my arch. So if we go back, um, if we look at these Continentals, there's a whole lot of stretch on them. As you can see, I think that's probably too much. Looking at it. So what I think I'm going to do, plus 35 I think is not more enough tyre. Um, 35 aspect ratio is basically a percentage of the width. So the higher the higher the aspect ratio, the sort of more tyre wall you've got. So if I go back to, let's look at these. Look at the 45, 245-40s. I think that's what I'm going to go for. Let me try and get a bit, a bit of better photograph of it. Yeah. They're 35s again. 245s, 40s. There. I think that is going to be my option. Yeah, so I'm going to go for these. So I need to order myself some 24540 tyres. So after hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of sanding, polishing, this wheel looks like this, and I've not even started this one yet. Um, I've had a rethink about what I'm going to do here. These need to be done um, on a machine, really, because they're, they are, they're pretty bad. I mean, if you look at this one, there's quite a lot of corrosion on there and it's, it runs pretty deep. There's a ceiling on there as well, so I've got to go through the ceiling down to the metal. Um, and I just don't have the time to do it with work everything else. Um, so I did look at trying to order some new lips. Uh, these are like £110 each, I think, for, for two fronts. I'm going to try and avoid that and I'm going to get these done professionally. I've had a quote for both to be done for 110 pounds so that's what i'm going to do unfortunately i can't get them done till next week so for now i'm just going to reassemble the wheels as you can see this one is this was just done for some measurement purpose and some test fit um so i'm going to reassemble them as they are so unfortunately the front will not be fully finished i'm going to reassemble them talk them up seal them up put the tires on and then um when I can get them fitted in, I'll disassemble again. It'll, it'll take me an hour or so to disassemble and reassemble. But I really want to get the wheels on the car, get the tyres fitted so I can get the suspension set up and get everything finished this weekend and get this video out. So that's what's going to happen. They're going to go like this. The fronts won't be done. The backs are done, but the fronts won't be. So you'll have to excuse the final product. The photos won't look as good as they possibly could, but that is life, unfortunately. They will get sorted out after after this week. Now all the bolts are done up and torqued up, there's one last step to do before you can put a tyre on this and that's seal up the gap. 
Now while that's pretty tight, like I say, all the bolts are torqued up, you still can't guarantee that that's airtight because it's just two bits of metal touching each other. If one of them is a little bit deformed or there's a bit of a gap between, the, between one or the other, air's going to leak out. So we're going to seal it up and we're going to use this stuff, Tiger Seal. You can use other things, like you can use CT1, things like that, but this stuff is absolutely the dog's bollocks. It's um, unlike anything else, to be honest. It It's ridiculously strong, comes with a warning on it. You're supposed to use gloves when you're using it, I'm not. But um, yeah, this is this is the stuff. There's not really much else I'd, I'd recommend, to be honest. It's only like 10 pound a tube, get it from Halfords. So it stays, um, Flexible, it doesn't crack, it doesn't shrink, it doesn't, um, doesn't do any of the stuff that things might under pressure or temperature. So if it gets hot or cold, it stays, it stays the same, which is exactly what you want on your wheels. So I'm going to use this. I've already opened it up. I've cut the end. I've cut the end a little bit bigger because it comes. this comes with a hole in it anyway, but I've cut the end a little bit larger anyway. And then I'm going to run this along the seam of the wheel there. I'm just going to put a bead all the way around and then I'm going to just use a, a sort of an old, old household spoon and spread it across evenly just with a spoon to get a nice even surface so yeah I set the camera up um, and I'll do this and then that is ready to put a tire on it I should say you do have to leave this for recommended 24 hours so I'm doing this now um, tomorrow night in fact probably be another day before I put tires on this so I'm gonna have plenty of time before tires go on this um, probably well over 24 hours but at least 24 hours leave this to set properly before you put tyres on and before you put any pressure in the wheel just so that, that you make sure that that's set properly So there's the final result. Nice smooth band on there. This doesn't make too much difference how it looks because um, your tyres and wheels get balanced anyway. So if there's a little bit more um, silicon on one side than there is the other, it's not the end of the world because they will get balanced properly. But just try and keep it as even as possible. Um, make sure that the seal is fully covered up, which it is. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so there's one. There's two. Two more to go. We've just had a bit of a result. If you remember when I was looking at tyre sizes and deciding what tyres I needed for the new wheels, um, I needed two, four, five, forties, seventeens. Now, if I look down there at the tyres that are already on the car, it's difficult to see. But you can just about read it there: two, four, five, forty, seventeens. So that is going to save me about one hundred and thirty pound per wheel for now. Anyway, the tires. These tyres are okay. They're not. Um, they're not. They're good years. They're a good brand. And they've got some tread on them, but they're not going to last forever. But for now, when I'm not 100% sure on how I want the wheels set up, I'm still not 100% sure if these are going to be the right tyres for me. I'm going to get these taken off and I'm going to put on the new wheels. So I'll, uh, I'm going to get the car up in the air, get these wheels off, get them in the back of the van and take these two tyres and the four new wheels down to uh, the tyre place. A few moments later. Now getting these wheels to fit this car is not as simple as just bolting them on. I'll start at the back considering it's in the air now already. The wheels that I've got are for a Volkswagen Audi Porsche fitment and they are 5 by 112mm so that means that the 
The bolt hole is 112 millimeters away from the center bore of the wheel. BMWs are 120 millimeters, so they're 120 millimeters away from the center bore. These are also M12 thread, so the, the thread of the bolt is 12 millimeters across, and the wheels are designed for M14 bolts, so 14 millimeters across. So I need adapters for these. I've had them for years because I've had these wheels for years, but here they are. So this has been custom made for this car. It was designed to fit my wheels previously when they were a little bit narrower, but they should fit now. They'll just have a little bit more stick out of the arch. So that sticks onto there, like that. You line those holes up like you would with your wheel, and I'll bolt this using these bolts in these holes to this hub, and then the wheel will bolt to this with some brand new bolts. So we do these all up and torque them all up. So torque these up to the same torque as your, your standard wheel bolts would be. Because they are effectively being used as your wheel bolts. Now the adapter's on and that gives us something to bolt into, we're still not ready yet. This centre bore is, do you know what, I can't remember the exact size of it, but it's for, um, it's for a Volkswagen anyway. So a standard Volkswagen wheel would fit onto this. My wheels are not standard Volkswagen wheels, and the centre bore is much bigger. You can actually see just there where the centre bore of my wheel is. So what I need is a spigot ring, and I'll have one just here. This is a piece of plastic. I think you can get these in aluminium, but you never see them in aluminium anymore. They're always plastic. And that will sit over the bore of my wheel, like that. And we'll also sit, because that way around, so that'll sit over there, and then my wheel will sit on that. And that ensures that my wheel, when it goes on, is dead flush. So we put this into the wheel first. There they are, by the way, looking absolutely gorgeous. Flip it over. So that will sit in there, right so. Well, it should do. Bit of paint on there giving it issues took a little tap of a hammer but that is in there now now this will sit on that hub centric spacer and I can bolt it to the wheel I've been dead careful always using a, a nylon coated socket because I don't want to scratch the paint not straight away anyway not when it's brand new Okay, I'll do these all up now with an impact just so they're all tight and then we'll talk everything up at the end when the car's on the ground. Boom. 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 Like that, nice brand new shiny wheel bolts. The last step is the, the valve covers. I don't think they're here yet. I'm gonna actually check the post, see if they have arrived. So there we have it, wheels are on. Now, I have just had to change something around a bit. I did a minute ago, just put my wide spaces on the back and my narrow spaces on the front. When I put the back wheels on, they sat far too far out of the arch. So the rears were 35 millimeter spaces, these were 25. So I've swapped them around. I put the 25s on the back and the 35s on the front. Now, I don't know if that's going to be too much there. You can see the tyre. I don't know how much that's going to scrub. Um, I might have to get some smaller ones from the front. Probably go down to probably 20s again, maybe 25s. Um, the backs, once that sits a bit lower, it's just been jacked up in the air, so it's sitting a bit high. But when that sits down, that'll, that'll tuck under there perfectly backs have still got to be lowered a little bit as well so um, happy with the back fitment front fitment 
probably have to change slightly. Um, we'll see how it runs, but for now, that's the way it's going to sit because they're the only adapters I've got to actually fit on it. Um, few little marks on the wheels after fitting. I'm a little bit unhappy about it. I'm going to go and clean them up off now anyway. Get the get the uh, get the greaser off it. And the fronts obviously still need doing so. It's not a finished job, it's not 100%. There is more work to be done on them. But for now, I'm really happy with it. I really like how it sits. Um, need to go and get it cleaned. Before I do that, finishing touch. Just arrived, the postman's just given to me. Is the eight ball valve covers. Beautiful. All right, let's go and take it through a car wash now. There it is, the semi-finished product, all cleaned up, wheels on, how about that? Now I'm mega happy with it, just driving it to the car wash then, I have noticed a few small issues as I thought there would be. Coming to the rear end, I might have mentioned this before but this suspension on the rear end, I've got coilover springs on it, however, it's still got standard shock absorbers on it. So I like the stance, but the back end is way too soft. So when I accelerate, this squats down and it's rubbing on the tire. I don't know if you can see it. So it's rubbing, rubbing just there. Um, so I need to firm the rear end up. I have got some um, Bilstein shock absorbers in my eBay basket. So they'll be getting ordered probably as soon as I've finished recording this video. Um, that'll be something for the next video. Get the back end firmed up a little bit. I'm also going to get some rear control arms. Some adjustable rear control arms to go down there. Oh, you can just about see it. And that'll allow me to adjust the camber of these rear wheels. So I can camber them in just a little bit more. Because I can't do that at the minute. On the fronts, probably need to bring the fronts in a little bit more. These have got now got 35mm adapters on them. Um, so I'm going to take them down a little bit, probably get some 25 millimeter adapters or I'll get these ones machined down. So I'll get 10 mil taken off the back. The rears have got 20 millimeter adapters on them and I think that's fine to be honest. The front I think just needs to be brought in a little bit more. Dishes are on their way. So I'm going to call it a day for this video. Hopefully you'll join me in the next one where we'll get the rear end sorted out 100%, get the rear shock absorbers on it, get the control arms on it get the front dishes on I should have front wheels all rebuilt properly and I'll have a few other little bits and bobs to do on the car a few more little jobs that I need to tick off so yeah hopefully you'll you'll join me for that I'll leave you there for now love that absolutely love that rear end love how wide that is and um, yeah thanks for watching if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you've got any ideas that things I should do please put them in the comments um, and if you've not already and you want to see some more videos on this car maybe the van over there maybe the Range Rover one day if I ever put, put my finger out and get it sorted out then please do subscribe to the channel helps me out um, and yeah I'll catch you in the next video